Alright. <clears throat> What's up, people? So, if you want to add me on my social media, this is... Sorry, just go to... Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, this is my Instagram. Skulls Gates DH41. This is my my TikTok right there. Skull skates DH forty one. And then this is my Stop licking me. Sorry guys, my dog's licking me on um, Alright and then my Discord. Right there, Skull Skates DH41 at the very bottom. Sorry if I'm going through too quick, just like pause the video whenever. And then. Sorry, I didn't mean to go on that. Oh yeah. This is my Snapchat. Loading. Skullskate stage 41. Alright, let me see you more. I have like <clears throat> few more. <sighs> Hold on. I gotta, find, I gotta find it. Oh, there it is. And then this is my Twitter. Skullski stage forty one. And then I also have one more. One more, one more, one more. Or where is it? Can't find it. Oh yeah, there it is. And then, if you guys have PlayStation, if you guys have PlayStation, I you could you could add me. This is my username. Right here. Right there, underneath my actual name, it's right there. Six nine, and all capitals three two three G, and then the G. Is capital. Um. So if you guys, if you guys look on my PlayStation and it says about me, I just put NCS because no copyright sounds. Uh, they make really good music. Sorry, guys. My dog's just like literally laying across my chest. Anyway. Oops, so I'm just quick a lot, um, yeah. I haven't posted. It sucks. I had a bunch of my old videos in here that I really missed, but somehow it got deleted, so. Hey guys, I'm King Batch, and did you know that you can order anything from Postmates? Anything? Uh, yeah, anything. Can you get Boba?
Brody. He just ran away from the bus. I got to find me a fucking meal. What are you doing? PlayStation, like I play a lot of Grand the Grand Theft Auto Five. So yeah. Before I end the video, well, before I end the video, let's watch another video. What do you guys want? Doritos. Oh, maybe some bagel guys too? Hey everyone, it's Ace Trent Crave here, and in today's video, we're going to be going through the top five craziest public freakouts. People absolutely losing it on other people. You're going to love it. Before in this video, though, if you guys hate psychos like this, then leave a like on this video. And of course, comment down below and tell me the craziest person that you know. Maybe you saw a crazy freakout. While you were out in public, maybe you were that crazy person freaking out. I don't know what your life is like. Let me know any stories. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter. Links that will be down in the description. But let's look into this top five, which is actually a top seven. And I'm, sorry, that's fine. I'm not necessarily sure the situation behind this, but this girl, she had to pay a $63 fine or something like that. Just $63. And if she didn't, she was going to get towed. So eventually she got towed because she refused to pay. And while she was getting towed and the car was attached to the tow truck, she got into her car and started trying to drive it off and ended up flipping it over and basically doing a ton of damage to her car. Well, more than $63. And on top of that, she did a lot of damage to her engine because it was running while it was, you know, flipped over sideways, which does something with oil. If you're a car guy, which I'm not, you can explain it down in the comments. <laughs> Got it all on camera. All of this instead of just paying sixty three dollars. All of this instead of just paying sixty three dollars. Moving to six, this is one of my favorite clips on this entire list. This involves the king of kings when it comes to insult. His name is Gordon Ramsay. And oh. basically, this is a clip off of Hell's Kitchen. Uh, basically, contestants go up against each other, have competitions, and then whoever the does the worst gets nominated at the very end of these competitions to see who is the worst chef and who needs to go home. So Gordon, he was asking them to nominate the two different people. He asked this one dude, and basically all he had to do was... Uh, say the two people that they had decided on and explain why. And 
He could not do that. Like, every single time Gordon asked him the question, uh, he wouldn't explain why or came up with some dumb, like, random bullshit and essentially just made himself look like an, a complete total idiot. I mean, Gordon had to ask the same question, like, four times over and over and over again until he started laying into him a little bit. And then they started having a bit of a spat. They started talking some serious shit. And obviously, you know well enough not to talk serious shit to Gordon Ramsay. Things ended up getting really heated, like, almost got into a fight type of heated and the guy ended up getting kicked off the sh- the show. Unbelievable. One simple request, who and why, and you make a big fucking song and dance about it. I ain't no fucking bitch, Jeff. I don't give a fuck. I ain't no bitch. Answer the fucking question. We keep talking like this out in the fucking park a lot. I don't give a fuck about the fuck. What do you want me to say? I ask the fucking questions, you give the fucking answers. Fuck that shit, dog. I ain't here for that. You want a fucking jacket? You want to talk some shit? Let's go step outside, motherfucker. You want to talk about fucking fighting? Oh, wow. You want to get fucking rough? Do you think I'm scared? Ah, look at you. Adam Fry, this is probably one of my favorite clips on this entire list, because this dude is absolutely hilarious. Uh, basically, what happened was this bus was late because somebody who had a wheelchair needed to get on, and that kind of put the bus behind. Uh, and then on top of that, there was some serious traffic. Things just weren't going well, and people were kind of late because uh, this bus was so behind getting to their jobs and things like that. And you know, everybody, you know, they just accepted as part of life, except this one woman who got on started throwing like a hissy fit. She got super pissed off and was like really bothering people until this one dude stepped in and just started making fun of her. I mean, he just absolutely laid into her uh, because she was calling the bus driver an idiot and things like that and eventually started calling him an idiot after he started making fun of her. I mean, he was literally making fun of her so hard that like literally people were taking off their headphones on the bus just to listen. Like he had this entire bus cracking up, laughing, that kind of stuff, and made her look like a complete and total idiot. It was fantastic. I mean, she completely deserved it. You know what it is? You upset because you got a bullshit-ass job. <laughs> and you late to your bullshit-ass job. You can't buy a car because you got a bullshit-ass job. Wake your ass up early. Put the fucking dumplings down. You'll go a little slower, driver. In the before spot, when it comes to these public freakouts, it's usually because one person is being a complete total douchebag. But this is a situation where basically everybody involved is just a complete and total douchebag. I mean, they're all being douches together. And mm -hmm. essentially, what happened was, these people at Wendy's, uh, they wanted to get some food in the drive through I believe that there was two women in the car, also a child in the back seat or something like that, you know, showing off a great example for how to, uh, you know, be mature. But uh, apparently, they got into a dispute with the drive through attendant at some point. I'm not really sure why. Apparently, uh, the woman said that she didn't like the drive through attendant's attitude. I'm gonna order some snacks from GoPuff. What do y'all want? Sour Skittles, Bagel Bites, Sprite, Ow. Doritos. So she asked for this woman's uh, name and then also to speak to the manager, that kind of stuff. According to her, this made the drive through lady freak out and throw her headset, ranch, and soda at her. Uh, and then they started to get into a yelling match. But then, on top of that, the drive through attendant said later, uh, when she was being, you know, interviewed by police, that the customer threw honey mustard at her first, and on top of that, the thing that she threw wasn't soda, it was actually water. So basically, everybody sucks. I spoke to her by phone. She says Seymour started it, and that Seymour's passenger threw honey mustard packets at her first. The cup she tossed? It only hit the water. Police were called and report finding the women screaming and talking crazy to each other through the drive through window while impeding drive through traffic. They say the women carried on, quote, aberrant behavior in front of officers. Moving to three, I love this one because it's got a nice little bit of karma sprinkled on top at the very end. Basically, this involves an old lady. She's in an electric wheelchair or something, and apparently she really hates what these kids are doing uh, because they're actually building a really large uh, snow penis. It had snowed and they decided instead of building a snowman to build, you know, uh, you know, they're, they're just having fun. Uh, and uh, nobody else really had a problem with this, but this woman, you know, she's grumpy, old, in a wheelchair, and quite frankly, she doesn't want to see joy in anybody else's faces when they're building a snow penis. I mean, quite frankly, she just can't have it. So she went up and actually started destroying it with like a broom thing or something like that and just started yelling at these kids. But the best part about this was after all of it, 
Um, she ended up getting stuck in like the snow and slush, uh, and her electric wheelchair couldn't get out. Take it down. You can it now. All right. Take it down. People are disgusting. How you like? Yes. Thought it was a masterpiece. And you can remake it. Yeah. We're gonna get bigger and straighter. Where is your decency? Item two, this one isn't really funny. It's more just absolutely disgusting, in my opinion. This one involves a woman who was at, like, a hospital. I think it was actually, like, a walk-in clinic or something like that, like a doctor's office. But uh, she went in there, and uh, her son apparently was sick or something like that, needed some medical treatment, and uh, she refused to have him be treated by anyone who wasn't white. Uh, apparently, there weren't any white doctors there at the time. I'm tired. Let's go. Yeah, oh, just one more thing. Ooh, Hot Wheels. Time, and she demanded that someone, uh, you know, be called in or something like that, because she'll only let her son be treated by a white doctor who doesn't have, quote-unquote, brown teeth. I mean, this is just some really despicable shit right here. And uh, this woman, she made a huge spectacle out of this, and it was just really just really pathetic, because, I mean, she cares more about this than having her son actually be treated. He's got a medical issue. And that's what she cares more about. It's pathetic. So you're saying in the whole entire building, there isn't one white doctor? Uh, your kid has to be seen by a pediatrician. Okay, so the, what you're telling me that my kid has chest pains, he's going to have to sit here until 4 o'clock. Can I see a doctor, please? That's white. Huh? Can I have the doctor in class? That's okay, with that. That's just my and finally, we want to start this video off with probably one of the uh, weirdest ones, I guess you could say. This involves a guy who was getting arrested, and there was a lot of people trying to arrest him all at once, but he wasn't really resisting too hard or anything like that. He was just saying a bunch of really funny stuff and, like, funny, weird accents and things like that while he was getting arrested. Not 100% sure what he's getting arrested for, but all I can tell you is that this dude, I, he probably gives absolutely zero shits. I mean, uh, he, I don't know if he was doing this as a joke, just trying to be as meme as possible. Possible just for the sake of it, trying to be funny as he was getting arrested, or if this is how he is normally. Altogether, all though, it's hilarious. You're gonna love it. This is Democracy Manifest. Be like Kev over there. He's got your hand off my penis. This is the bike who got me on the penis, people. Why did you do this? Come in the car. What is the charge? Eating a meal. A succulent Chinese meal. Oh, that's a nice headlock, sir. Those are the clips today for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you're liking this video. If we can break 10,000 likes, that would be insanely awesome. We really appreciate that. Also, make sure to comment down below and tell me which one of these clips was your favorite. Which one of these crazy public freakouts was the most crazy, I guess? Let me know if you have any stories about any public freakouts of your own. Maybe you were on the bus and saw somebody do some crazy stuff or at school. Maybe you are that crazy person. Let me know any stories you have. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter. Link that will be down in the description. Also, make sure to go. Alright, you guys. Hope you hope you all enjoyed and sub like and subscribe if you're new and tell and if you're already subscribed, uh, like turn on post notifications and tell your friends to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.